Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. And we are back with another Alpha Strike Battle Report. Excited. Yeah. Amped up. It's another 250 point value battle. Um, and we've got a little rating going on. Arch, The Arch Nemesis, the Capellan Confederation, against the Free World Warrior World's House League. Po Ding, to be specific. Oh, they're back. Mm, some elite fighters. All right, all right. A little take and hold. So this is going to be a meat grinder. It's yes. Be bloody. Yes, we got a take and hold coming up. So one central objective, two forces deployed, and you need to get to the center as fast as possible and hold that down. Uh, that means no enemy mechs or vehicles or anything within three inches, and you gain an objective point. So to your point, yes, a meat grinder. That is uh, that mm. is the appropriate uh, way to describe it. So um, what do we have in terms of the fluff tonight? What is, what is our mission? So we're going on a raid, the mm. Capellans are, into Free Worlds League, Planet of Ascension, System okay. of Ascension rather, yeah. Planet System. Both. Um, Kalon Industries has a manufacturing center here. Okay. And due to recent cataclysmic events on one of the, I don't know, poles maybe? Yeah. They have to evacuate the area, okay. and there's some, some key technology here yeah. that's at risk that needs wow. to be sort of pulled out and, well, you know, right. we're going to take advantage of that. It's part of, of our grand mission. Your, your well, genetic the, the makeup thousand year regime. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the Fifth Atrium Knights are in the area. Uh, they're going to be coming to the aid of the, of the industrial center here, uh, and then we're going to go head to head and just, yeah. just duke it out. Um, so the next thing. Let's take a look at the forces, shall we? Let's do it. Leading off my mech lance is the Stalker 3H, Captain Poding behind that one. So he's going to be my skill two, the best gunner. Everybody else is skill three. It's the Marauder 3L, the Centurion AL, and the Cataphract. And then in my support vehicle lance, I have two Vedette medium tanks and two Savannah Masters to do a little fancy footwork, hover work, so to speak. All right, and here we are, the 5th Atrian Knights, one of my favorite units here, representing the Free Worlds League. Although, I will say, in the fluff here, the 5th the Atrian Knights getting rather disheartened with House Marek's backseat stance of the clan invasion. Uh, they really want to get up there in the action, so starting to think about defecting. Uh, which you'll see. That's why they're tagged as unreliable. But what do we have here for our units? We've got Falcon in his Zeus. He is uh, skill two, which is elite uh, as written by the book. We have uh, an Orion. Uh, that's Archangel and her Orion there, skill level three. Uh, Wolverine, uh, skill level three. And then we have Longshot in a Catapult C3. Now this is special. This is a special surprise for Kevin. This packs arrow four artillery uh, and this mech is skill level two i got a pair of scorpion tanks at skill level three and a pair of gabriel recon hovercraft at skill level four to round it out hopefully those uh, gabriels will get into that objective quickly and at least buy some of my mechs time uh, to get in and support so we'll see what happens that is the fifth atrian knights all right guys so there are the forces we talked about the mission the point value the fluff and the narrative so the only thing left is to check out the battle grid and then get this thing started. Kev, are you ready? Ammo explosions. <laughs> all right, well guys, stay tuned. It's all coming right up.
battle begins on Assumption, the central objective for taking hold right in this main compound area, some sort of manufacturing facility for Kalan Industries. Uh, the, the Capellans, as Kevin described them, doing some initial, uh, some initial petty bombardment here, destroying outlying buildings. Uh, so he will be taking that side of the battle grid, and I'll be taking this side, and we'll be marching to that meat grinder in the middle. Kev, are you ready, sir? We are. All right, well, we're going to roll off here, and then we will uh, be right back after turn one. All right, War Gamers, we're back. It is the end of turn one. Kevin and I have completed here. Uh, now, as the defender of this mission, I did have to move onto the table first. Uh, so what I did was I positioned my catapult way out here on the flank with that unlimited range artillery, uh, hoping to get some shots later in the game, maybe even getting some spotting happening with those Gabriels. But mostly everything moving right up the gut here. Gabriels making uh, haste to that central objective. But it looks like the Capellans have the same idea. So Kevin, tell us. What did these sneaky Capellans do? Well, pretty much a, a forward advance, the push, right? Savannah Masters are cruising up that hill. The Vedettes are falling behind. Everybody else is just sort of following in a... Just ready to unload yeah, on whatever comes over that hill a first. A loose wedge. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, that is wrapping up turn one. We're going to get right into turn two, so stay tuned. Turn two. Kalon Industries. So the 5th Atrian Knights, one initiative. Kevin, that means House Poding, accompanied by the 8th Capellan Chargers, had to move first. Tell me, what is going on here? What, what is this already <laughs> madness in the middle? Yeah, it's a hover party. Uh, so the Savannah Masters quickly got up into the base, basically did a parallel park, and are watching the objective as your as your Gabriels came cruising in as well. Uh, my Vendette tanks have uh, formed in a line and are sort of working around the right flank of my uh, direction of attack. And the Cataphract and Stalker are progressing up the middle on a line, and the Centurion and the Marauder are sort of working in echelon up the left side. Very cool. Everybody's sort of sprinting high speed. Um, the only attacks happening are going to be those two Savannah Masters at that encroaching Gabriel. All right, you want to roll those up for us? Sure thing. All right, so uh, Savannah Masters deal a, a substantial amount of damage, I believe, one mm -hmm. point. And uh, what, is their, what is their target number here? And which one are they shooting? I assume <coughs> they're shooting the same one? Um, might as well, because I think the one in the deep corner won't be able to see that one that's hiding around the edge. Right, let me see if I can get They're going to go for the sprinter. Come around and get a good shot of this here. So we have one of the Gabriels in cover. So you're shooting at the sprinting Gabriel, is that correct? Correct. As both of your Savannah Masters have line of sight there. All right, very cool. All right, Savannah Master number one. Need tens to hit that sprinting Woo. Gabriel. Speedy. And the other one. Ooh, close. All right. So moving over to the 5th Atrian Knights, we have some excitement happening. Artillery coming in hot. Catapult C3 with that brand new Arrow 4 system equipped. Uh, firing <coughs> into uh, the Savannah Master. So uh, we're going to be targeting this one here uh, that, uh, that we can see. So we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, it's it's uh, one point of damage. It's just one roll for artillery, and it does two damage or none. If I miss, it scatters. Uh, so that's scary. Yeah, I, well, for me too because that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's it's a risky move. All right, I need a nine to hit. I got it. So we were using, by the way, a point of impact attack. Here's how we got to the number, folks. He is um, actually. You know what? I needed an eight because I forgot he is actually skill two. Uh, so skill two. I need four because it's a point of impact attack, um, another one because it's an area effect attack, and then another one for spotting. So two, uh, six, seven, eight. So that will be a hit. So that Savannah Master takes two points of damage. All right, well, good news for the Atrian Knights. One Savannah Master shredded. So that Gabriel has no line of sight to any other units. So that wraps up shooting. So guys will be going right in to turn three. 
All right, guys, we are back. It is turn three. Things are happening. The Atrian Knights moving up. They lost initiative, so I'll tell you real quick what happened here. Uh, the Wolverine making very good pace up into the base already. Uh, the Zeus and the Orion trailing behind. And my two functioning Gabriels here, they are, uh, as Kevin described it, <laughs> in a bumper car uh, fight here with the Savannah Master. Now these scorpions got drawn out to the left flank. There are some enemy enemy armor. Uh, it's too delicious to turn down. Uh, looks like they might be coming for my catapult, who is still slowly advancing here, uh, ready to rain down some artillery from that flank into the center. Now, uh, Kevin and I discussed this off camera, and one of the, the one of the things here about Alpha Strike is important to note: when you are in base-to-base -base contact, you cannot shoot. You can only make a physical attack. So my Gabriels cannot shoot his Savannah Master. He moved it last intentionally uh, into base-to-base -base contact. So those Gabriels will be spotting for my catapult. Uh, and I'm going to target a, a point of impact just about an, you know, like a half of an inch behind that the Savannah Master. I'd say. Yeah, right around the objective. So that way, if it does scatter, hopefully it doesn't have the distance to get um, to those Gabriels. Now, it does scatter D6 inches. Um, so, you know. Anything's possible. Wolverine. It could hit the Wolverine. We don't know. Uh, however, what do I need here? I need an eight to hit, two for skill level, four for the fact that you're doing the point of impact attack, ignoring all the other sorts of modifiers, then one for indirect fire, uh, and uh, one because it's an area of effect, area of effect attack. So, looking for an eight, all or nothing. Here we go. <laughs> Got it. An eight. So it lands and it destroys uh, that that nasty little hovercraft there in the middle. Kevin not pleased. Kevin not pleased with this at all. But uh, that vanguard is approaching. So we'll be right back on the Capellan side. Warrior House Poe Ding had basically advanced like they were last round. I have the Centurion and the Marauder going up that left flank. Cataphract and Stalker coming up the middle. And those Vendettes peeled off to the right flank clearly going for that artillery fire that they see dropping down from the other side of the mountain. They want to go spice that up. <laughs> uh, that ga uh, my, hub my Savannah hovercraft basically went bumper cars with those Gabriels to prevent them from firing. Unfortunately, the artillery strikes have been quite pointed. Quite lucky. Quite lucky. All right, folks, well, there it is. This wraps up turn three. So we're going to do a quick damage recap, and then we will be back with turn four. Turn three damage report. It's pretty light so far. The only lands to see damage is on the eighth Capellan chargers. Both of those Savannah masters destroyed by arrow four missiles coming in from that catapult. One destroyed on turn two and subsequently another on turn three. That leaves the middle wide open and the Atrian Knights take the first objective point. We are back. It is the beginning of turn four, we just completed movement, shooting about to transpire here. Uh, so, Kevin, you lost initiative. What is happening here with your with your forces as they move on this central objective? Uh, well, the Vedette tanks sort of did a split, trying to watch out for that artillery fire. They're coming down on that catapult there. They're going to be firing their long-range weaponry. Gonna be working with eights, I believe, to hit. All right. Just one point of damage. Yep. Here we go. I don't know why I'm using the yellow die, but it's too late. It's too late. It's happening. All right. That's a hit. One point. Same thing with this one. He's got cover from him, so he's working with an eight. All right. So just one point of damage on that coward <laughs> dropping bombs from the back. <laughs> the Marauder. 3L. Master Poding himself. No, no, no. Poding's in the Stalker. Oh, well. It's a signature mechanism wrong. Yeah. It's, it's, a non, it's so confusing. It's so much subterfuge with the Capellans. <laughs> that was that was a decade ago. Alright, so the Marauder. He's working with skill 3, so that guy sprinted working with a 7, 8 with cover. 8 with cover. Where did I have a white tag? Uh, why am I using that? Sorry. This so, is more marauder like. Three damage? <laughs> yes, three damage. Alright, here we go. 
All right, so two hit. Two points of damage to the Wolverine. Yes, sir. It's gonna leave a mark, no doubt. All right, the Centurion now also moved up next to that Marauder, but he's gonna be firing on that Zeus over the wall. So he's gonna be working with, I believe eight. All right. Seems right, we'll Eight. cover. Yep. Yeah. Okay. He's got two damage he's working with at this long range. Sorry, one damage, long range. Uh, All right, here we go. sure he's not within 12, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember anymore. Measuring, survey yes. says, yes. within 12. So it is two, two damage. damage. And actually then your target number is seven. Seven. Yes, okay, here we go. Wow. All right, so is not good but it doesn't matter what does it matter one point of damage to that zeus kevin uh did cataphract shooting at all yes at the zeus as well <clears throat> he will not have cover so he's working with more like a six. Oh, seems seems brutal he's got three points better piloting i hope man unfortunate dodged a bullet there or three uh, so, end of the shooting for the Capellans. Uh, some damage taken here on the side of the Atrian Knights, and they will be right back to respond. All right, so we are here with the Atrian Knights. More artillery shenanigans about to happen. We've got our Catapult C3 with that sweet arrow system. Just lobbing them in. Uh, that Wolverine will be spotting, and I'm going for a point of impact, Kevin, right in between those two mechs there. So right in between the Marauder and the Centurion, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna declare that point of impact. So I'm gonna need an eight to hit. Ready to go. So that is also. Do you, do you get critical hits with artillery? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. We might have to go to the rule book on that. But regardless, that's a hit. That's gonna be two points of damage. You leave a double-sized crater. <laughs> to, to each of those mechs. Uh, that's a pretty good shot from that catapult. All right, guys. So we are back. So we had a very quick read through the rules. I would be interested to know. Post it in the comments sections if you know for sure. If you're targeting a point of impact, do you still get a critical hit? Um, because you're not targeting a unit. I know artillery says it follows all the standard rules for attacks, uh, but I think even if it does, we, we're going to house rule that if it is a point of impact and not targeting a unit, you don't get a critical hit. Uh, on the natural 12. On the natural 12, right. If you still hit internal structure and all that stuff, that would be okay. But on the 12, I think it just seems a little bit weird to me. Um, that you would be able to get a critical hit because... On the receiving end, it's super weird. So I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Well, that Zeus is shooting the Cataphract. I only need fives to hit. This guy's elite. All right. Um, that Cataphract, no cover in this direction. So I need fives to hit. That Zeus does four damage. This is a 9S. He's got, he's got some sweet loss tech on that mech. So here we go. Uh, somehow I still managed to not hit all of my all of my damage, uh, but it is three points into that cataphract. And uh, just to wrap up here, what else went on? Um, so that Wolverine ran around uh, into the base area. I still have two Gabriels contesting. A point of note: that cataphract is also within three inches. This Orion is within three inches. So no one scoring points this turn. Patriot Knights just holding on to a very very narrow one point lead here in this take and hold. We're going to head to the damage recap real quick, and then we will be right back with turn five already. Turn four damage report on the Capellan side. Artillery continues to rain down. Warrior House Poding getting caught in a bombardment. That Marauder and Centurion each taking a couple of points of damage there. Uh, also, the Cataphract getting drilled by the Zeus. But all in all, light damage. Armor is holding up just fine. On the side of the Free Worlds League, Castle Lance, the Command Lance here, Zeus getting pounded by the Cataphract in return, the Wolverine getting dinged up by the Marauder, and those Vedettes starting to chew away that armor of that Catapult on the flank. As with the Capellans, nothing serious, just a little bit of light damage around the board. It's turn five, we are back. The scrum is happening, mechs, vehicles piling up in that central courtyard vying for control of Kalan Industries here. So the Atrian Knights lost initiative this time. Let's start with the Scorpions here. So the Scorpions both uh, rumbled up the hill, not moving very far. 
Uh, but they are going to turn their attention on those advancing Vedette tanks. So, uh, they are Gunnery 3, or Skill 3. Uh, the Vedettes have a modifier TMM of 2. So, I am going to need... Uh, also, I'm at medium range. Uh, so, uh, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, here we go. I need an 8. One point of damage. Uh, that is a critical failure. Second Yay. shot. <laughs> Second shot. Oh, just barely a miss. All right, so that wraps up the Scorpions. Uh, next, here in the, the Crucible, the Wolverine jumped, landing on the building, protecting his rear, and is going to be turning and firing down on that Cataphract. Now, Wolverine is skill 3, Cataphract has a TMM of 1, so that's 4. They're at, uh, they're at short range. Actually, they're at medium range. Kev, you wanna you wanna you wanna just validate? Are we within three? I don't even I don't even think I checked. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay, so that's that's beneficial for me. Uh, so again, we're uh, three, four, five for short, six, seven for jumping, because there's a plus two for jumping. Uh, but this Wolverine here does two points at short range. Not a stone cold killer, but I'll take it. So I need sevens here on the Wolverine. Here we go. All right, so I get them both. So that is two points of damage. Uh, that is group firing, by the way. Um, if you're not familiar with our house rules, you can check those out. But essentially, we roll one pilot die. It's added to each of these dice here. Anyway, so that's two points of damage to that cataphract. Moving on to the Orion. All right, that Orion up next, firing at medium range across the courtyard on the cataphract. Uh, needs sixes, I believe, is what I said. So three, four... Five, six, this is at medium range. All right, here we go. So that is a full house again. Uh, so that is going to be three more points of damage to that cataphract. Are we internal yet? Critical chance. We love it. All right, so here we go. Our lucky Atrian Knights color theme dice here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, a Critical six. So that's, weapons that's something. Destroyed. All right, the Zeus Falcon the leader of the Atrian Knights, firing across at the Cataphract. Now this 9S does four points of damage. He is at medium range here. Uh, so I only need fives to hit. Again, this is an elite pilot in charge of the Zeus. So hopefully we can get a decent roll here. Oh, where's that Battle Lance re-roll when I need it? So that's only two points of damage. The Cataphract's still hanging in. Uh, now, that will be a critical hit roll, though. So, can I get lucky, Kevin? I need a 2 or a 12. Here we go. That is a 4. Critical hit. Sensors. All right, the Gabriel, uh, the one that is just adjacent to the Cataphract, has a 360-degree firing arc due to the medium laser being on a turret. Uh, he's going to be firing. He's at short range. Uh, he needs a 4 5. He needs a 6 to hit here. He does get it. So that is another critical hit. And one more point of damage to that Cataphract. Can we get something else? Cataphract is just getting shredded here. That is critical a seven. Leg. That is a motive hit. All right, here we go. Last shot of the Atrian Knights. This little Gabriel is going to be spotting a point of impact right in between those delicious Capellan mechs so that my Catapult can fire uh, yet another arrow round. So we'll see what we can do here. We do need an eight. So these are uh, these are not easy. However, this catapult has been pretty good for me so far. Eights have been pretty Kevin, funny. Kevin, will it will it persist or will this be? I'd love to see a miss. I want to just see a scatter shot well, at least once. Just not right now. It's a seven. Okay, so it <laughs> <laughs> scatter rolls. All right, so uh, it will in fact scatter. That little orange circle on the dice there that represents our point of impact. Uh, remember, we have movement, we have range, we go to a one-to-one. -one. That means um, artillery <clears throat> scatters just 1d6 inches, and artillery cannons would scatter d3 inches or half d6. Uh, Kevin is... Kevin. Due Kevin, north. Uh, due Kevin north. furiously <laughs> pointing due north. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping maybe... Can I get six inches over to the Marauder? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see what happens here. Now, this is... Uh, so, normally, you use a template. We use this scatter dice. This is a Games Workshop product. Um, which is great, because when you roll it right, it can go any direction. If it does land on the target, there's a little black arrow that shows you exactly where it would go. So here we go. 
we have a d6 here, and we have our directional die. Uh, we're going to try to roll this as close to uh, as we can here. So it is going that direction five inches. I'm going to say that hits well out of range. Well out of range. It's only a one inch diameter explosion. So that artillery unfortunately misses. Uh, that is going to wrap up shooting for the Atrian Knights, but it was a pretty good one. We crippled that cat, uh, that cataphract, put it into forced withdrawal, um, but the stalk are still contesting. So we'll see what happens when Po Ding brings his nefarious forces to bear. All right, on to the Po Ding side. We're going to start with our vedettes as usual, going after that artillery bomber, and there we're going to be working with sevens to strike him. So first one, no good. Second one. All right. Um, All right, another point of damage onto that catapult. The cataphract is up. He's going to be going after the Orion. <clears throat> um, interesting bit here. He's going to be overheating for one. <laughs> the advantage of winning initiative. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he's going to be working. He needs sixes. All right. And uh, right, none of those criticals, guys, as you know, come into play this round. So none of the fire control or weapon damage. Here we come. All right, I'll take it. Four hits. Ouch. Ouch. All right, so that Orion gets blasted. Stalker, Poe Ding is ready to strike. He's also going to go after that Orion. Mm. He is going to need fives because he's a better, better, a bit of a better gunner. I don't like it. Uh, not overheating, but he still has four to hit. And yeah, this is bad news. Bad news. I may have walked my Orion into a trap here. Um, That's a trap. <laughs> oh man, couldn't get uglier. But two hit. Uh, it's similar to what happened with my Zeus there. Um, but <clears throat> I'll take it. Two points on the Orion. All right, Marauder is kicking us off with that. Uh, you know, they're gonna they're gonna jump in on that Orion beatdown. I don't like it. So, Marauder's got three damage to work with at medium range. He's going to be working with uh, sixes. Okay. Man, I can't catch a break. One damage. I'll take it. So that Orion's armor still holding. That Centurion could deal a critical hit. We'll see. All right, the Centurion trying to salvage our reputation here. The last shot. Also needs sixes, but he's only doing two damage. So I think I need both to hit. It's true. Oh my god. I quit. All right. <laughs> Force well, quit. <laughs> we, yeah, right. Uh, all F4 of the game. We are done. Uh, just kidding. So that does wrap up the shooting of Warrior House Poding. They did very much wound that Orion, but failed to go internal. Cataphract in withdrawal. Let's go to the damage recap and we'll be right back with turn six. Turn five damage report on the side of the Capellans. Warrior House Po Ding. That cataphract is in rough shape down to two structure points. Looking at a fire control critical, a weapon critical, a motive critical, one point of heat. That mech is in withdrawal after getting battered by three Free Worlds League mechs. On the side of the Free Worlds League, things are not looking much better. That Orion caught in just a vicious crossfire. Every single Capellan mech bearing down on it, but luck prevails. That mech's still looking at one point of armor, and it is still in the fight. Uh, the Vedette's taking a little bit more off the catapult, but right now the Free Worlds League has the upper hand. Turn six already. Things are still hot. <laughs> that middle is... It's just awful. It's sweaty frat room. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an apt way to describe it. Uh, so the Atrian Knights won initiative. Kevin, your forces had to make the first move here. They did. So per usual, we'll start with those vedettes. They're just cruising over that ridge line, coming down on that artillery catapult. Uh, we'll start with the far one, who's working with a slightly more difficult mod. Okay. Um, He's going to be working with a seven. Okay. Here we go. No good. The closer one is actually in medium range. He's got a six. I'm going to keep that. That's, that's, <laughs> it feels like, feels like bull. Uh, but that's okay. So that is a 12. That is a critical hit and a one point of damage. 
Uh, Kev, do you want to roll up those dice? A critical hit. I hope it's a five or a nine. Justice has been served. There you go. <laughs> do you feel better about yourself now? A little bit. We're starting off with my centurion who lumbered over that wall following after the Wolverine, who we'll hear about later, who came down and <laughs> trying to do a Congo line rear strike. <laughs> oh, gosh, it is. All right, so the Centurion potentially doing an extra point of damage. Yes, so his short range damage is two, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to be rolling up three dice. What is your... Uh... Actually, actually, my TMM is three here. This is mismarked. Uh, what? Well, it is true because you add one when you jump, so... Man, I don't know, man. Seven it is. All right. All right. Wow. I'd like to see that pilot die. Oh, all right. Three points. Ouch. All right. So that busted up cataphract. <laughs> Just trying to sell out for the team. You know, his honor to Classic, domestic. classic Capella move. Yeah. These guys are honorable, all right? These are a warrior house. Okay, that's fair. But he's bleeding everywhere uh so he's got a lot of effects going on he needs nines to hit he's down a weapon but he's overheating again Ooh. to get that three damage on that orion really wants to wants to send him yeah. home. all right and you need you said nines to hit nine okay here we question go. is chain fire or group i mean chain i, I would chain fire yeah. i don't want to help you here but <laughs> but i love that banger bust all right so one That's, hit that is one hit Sorry. That's all right. Camera takes a critical hit, but that's a mess. And then the all last right. one. Okay. I'll so take it. One point of damage to the Orion. Now the question is, it does it does not go internal, but his stripped. armor is stripped, so that leaves him vulnerable for the remainder of the warrior house to do some real damage here. All right, Poding. He think he's going to seal the deal on the Orion. He's planted his feet, locked in, firing everything he's got on that Orion. He's only going to need, I believe we're working with fives. Four, sorry, because he's at minus one from stationary. That, sorry, yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of dice. And uh, somehow he managed in this one. I don't get it. No, no, fours, you're good. Right? Oh, it's four, yeah. Got it. Carry the one. <laughs> Divide by zero. All right, so now <laughs> that is going to be definitely a critical hit. Kevin, 2d6. If you please. Five to nine. It is a weapon. It is a weapon hit, so that Orion is starting to feel the pain here. All right, the Marauder turning at that fearful Zeus. Firing his medium range weapons, he's working with sevens to shoot over that wall with cover, but three damage if it lands. Man, man oh man. Just right. one of them. So just one point of damage to that Zeus. Somehow he's ducking and weaving. He is uh, still alive, still okay, no critical hits. And now... Yeah, wraps it up for the warriors. Yes, and the Atrian Knights will get to retaliate here. Let's see what they got up their sleeve. All right, here we are on the side of the Atrian Knights. So we are actually going to kick it off with my pal, Longshot, in the catapult. He's going to fire, being spotted by that Gabriel... Uh, at a point of impact right in between the Stalker and the Cataphract. So, uh, per usual, I need eights to hit here. Now, this could, of course, be dangerous. Kevin hoping, hoping for, <laughs> Kevin hoping the winds, for a... The prevailing winds. <laughs> hoping for a scatter. I am hoping for a direct hit here. Uh, so, here we go. <clears throat> Man, that Catapult is on fire. So, that means the Cataphract and the Stalker. The cataphract. Each taking two Kaboom. points. Cataphract is destroyed. That is excellent news. All right, so that opens up some tactical options here for the Knights. I'm going to think about what I'm going to do, and we'll be right back. Archangel in her Orion, all battered up, probably about ready to eject. <laughs> <laughs> Firing at Poding. Uh, Poding stayed still, so only need, only need fives here. Hoping for something good. Here we go. Uh, well, I got two of the three, so that's not bad. So two points of damage, two more points, I should say onto that stalker. All right, so that Wolverine, he jumped off the building. The Marauder moved before him. Again, we had initiative. So the Marauder moved. Wolverine thundered down behind him. We'll be taking a rear shot. Uh, we did intentionally this time uh, leave some space in between these maps so they can actually <laughs> shoot each other. Uh, 
So he's going to do three points of damage uh, as he is in, again, that rear arc. Uh, but it is plus two, four jumping. Uh, so he's going to need a five, six, seven to hit. It's not great. You know, considering he's a point blank. But the price of jumping, here we go. Uh, well, just one point to that Marauder is all I can do. All right, I've got these Scorpions. They're going to wheel their turrets around forward arc. They're going to fire at that Marauder as well. I have one stationary and one that moved. Uh, so basically three, four, five, six is what I'm going to need uh, on each of them, except for the stationary one's going to need a five. So we're going to start with the one that needs the six. That's the forward one that moved here. I need a six against the Marauder and do not get it. Uh, and then the one that needs a five get that. So the Marauder takes an additional point of damage. All right, and now the the mano y mano battle royale, the captain over here in the Zeus firing on the lead Capellan, Poding in his stalker. Uh, at medium range, four points of damage, need fives to hit. Hoping to land them all. Might be able to get internal. Here we go. Get them all. So four points on the stalker. It's a pip in. That's a pip in. So can we score that delicious critical hit? We're going to grab our lucky Atrium Knights dice here. We're looking at anything except for a five or a nine. Sure, we'll be in them. Oh, God, it was so close. Fire control. <laughs> that is a fire control hit. Critical hit. Sensors. I do have this Gabriel here. Uh, this one little Gabriel uh, who did not spot, he is also going to fire Poding. We're saving him for last. He's so small, I almost, almost didn't see him. <clears throat> Here we go. So he's a he's a four. Uh, so basically, he needs a uh, six, but five, uh, he needs a six. Yeah, he's out of the short range. So he needs a six to hit. Here we go. Get it. So it's one more point of damage on that stalker. One more. I feel like this is the one. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, it's only a six. So what is that? Weapon. Weapon. All right. So now we are done. So that wraps up turn six. This was a brutal turn. Uh, still, uh, we'll have to measure. That stalker, I believe, is within three inches, right, Kev? Yes, uh, he is. As he was last turn, he did not move. So that's Nine still contested in the middle there. Um, but now that that Orion is in forced withdrawal, it is going to force my hand to bring that Zeus in probably next turn. So we'll see what happens, guys. Turn seven coming right up. Turn six damage report on the Capellan side. That cataphract eats an artillery shell. That mech is destroyed. The collateral hits the Stalker, the Zeus, and the Orion follow up, bringing that mighty assault mech down to just five structure points, dealing a fire control and a weapon critical as well. The Wolverine tearing into the rear of the Marauder, damaging that mech's armor as well. On the Free Worlds League side, the Zeus takes a little bit of damage and retaliation, the Catapult losing more armor to those advancing vedettes. But the Orion is the big story here, the Stalker and the Cataphract nailing it down to just two points of structure, Archangel now in forced withdrawal, also looking at a weapon critical hit. Turn seven, after movement, madness in the middle. <laughs> uh, it is still a scrum, the uh, Atrian Knights lost initiative, so I had to move first, and it was uh, it was a little tough. I do also outnumber Kevin at this point, so there were a couple points where I had to move multiple units. Um, so let's start here with um, <clears throat> with my catapult, because what the catapult is doing is actually going to turn and face down these vedettes. Finally, it's going to target this lead vedette and fire both its artillery and also its uh, its medium range weaponry. So. I have to make two separate attack rolls. Kevin and I talked about it, read the rules. Uh, if you're targeting the same unit, it doesn't count as a secondary target. Um, so first thing first here, I'm going to fire my normal weapons. I'm going to need a six. Uh, so two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. All right, so he manages to put two points on that vedette. And then I'm going to roll again for that arrow four system. That also... The forward uh, vedette? Yes, the forward one. That also is going to need a six. Here we go. Okay, so that is going to be two more points of damage. I believe Kev, chance. that is internal. Yep, okay, here we go. On the vehicle table, that is going to be a five, which I think on the vehicle it's is... Tracked, which you get a water plus one. Oh, did you talk about the motive hits? Oh, I was just rolling right, for the critical, sure. uh, but you're right. I also get a motive hit as well. Um, so we'll do critical first. Yeah, so that was a five. <clears throat> uh, fire control. 
fire control. And then you're right, the motive hit. So because it's tracked, there's actually no modifier. I need, I believe, an eight or better here. Uh, actually, a nine or better to do anything. I got a seven, so nothing doing there. But internal on the Vedette, it is in force <coughs> withdrawal, which is exciting. Uh, but more fire coming in now. We're going to roll right into the Scorpion. So this first Scorpion stayed still, uh, twisted around on the turret there. It's going to blast in one point of damage. Uh, it needs two, four, six. So it needs a six. Here we go. And that was this one here. So that's going to be that final point of damage, I believe, on that Vedette. Uh, it's got three internal. Oh, it's three internal. That it is isn't force it's, a, it's a meaty tank then. Okay, so that Vedette is, uh, is good for now. So what else do we have coming up here? Okay, so uh, right, we do get two more uh, checks here on the Vedette. First a motive and then a critical. So let me do the motive first. Again, need a nine or better here. Nothing. And now the critical chance, a ten. Weapon. Weapon. Okay, so not bad. Uh, now, we're going to roll right into the Orion. Poor Archangel. She's in a lot of trouble here, but she's going to torso twist, fire at that Marauder uh, that is uh, challenging in that central courtyard. Now, she did take a weapon hit, so down to just two points here. Um, but fire control's in good shape, so she's going to need a three, four, five. Here we go. Uh, so that is also a critical hit there. Um, but two hits. So two points of damage, and now we'll roll up that critical hit. Could be, could be good here. A four. Okay, so we're going to start with this little Gabriel over here. Uh, he's going to be firing up at Poding. We're going to see if we can do something here. So four, five, six is what I need. Here we go. Ugh. Awful. Other Gabriel, here we go. Same deal, need sixes, come on. There we go. So that's a point of damage. It's uh, internal. It's internal, so we could potentially get a critical hit here. This could be good. A nine, nothing. Oh, Poding, just ride or die. All right, this is what it all comes down to. Falcon and his Zeus firing at Poding in his stalker. Uh, the Zeus stood still, is an elite pilot, only needs fours to hit, so. Here we go. Can I get all four, Kevin? Could be the end. We could be seeing an ejection. But I still, still managed to get them. But I saw that one come up and held my breath. But there it is. Four points of damage. Just what we needed. All right, so lastly here, the Wolverine firing down on the Marauder. Uh, he is basically an effective five... Six, seven, he needs sevens to hit. Here we go. Jumping is a rough penalty here. Ah, nothing. All right, so misses everything there. Could have been internal. That could have been big, folks, but the good news is we cleared out that center with the, with the ejection of Po Ding and his stalker, but he will get to shoot back, and I feel like, unless Kevin gets unlucky, there could be some smoking mechs on the field before it's over. <laughs> All right, the Vedettes are back up. They are swinging around that ridge line, chasing down the artillery still. We're gonna start with the furthest one. He's working with a six, I believe, to hit. Uh, sorry, a seven to hit. He's at long range. Gotcha. Got it. That's one hit, and then the other one is in medium range. He'll need the six. Two hits on that catapult. Mr. Stalker, Poding, <clears throat> can feel the end coming near. So he's going to try to sell out on that Zeus. Captain to captain. Love it. Right? That's your captain there? It is. It is indeed. All right. So he's overheating. He's pushing the throttle up too. So he's going to have six damage oh, if he lands. Lord. Six damage. He needs Holy fours. Holy <laughs> oh. He only needs fours to hit. Okay. Uh, Kevin's feeling good about this. I feel like it's impossible to miss. I feel like I should chain fire based on my, <laughs> my piloting history. <laughs> Here we go. Six. Six. That is brutal. Alright, so the mostly undamaged Zeus just armor melts away from that stalker. Kevin 
dealing one point into the internal structure gets a critical hit here. Let's see. <laughs> That's an eight. Weapon. Weapon. All Sad. Right. The Centurion is up, shooting at that bounding Wolverine. He planted his feet, so he will get a firing bonus. <clears throat> He's working with three, uh, four, five, down um, to four. Sorry. Let me, let me, I always mess this up. There you go. Oh, man. Movie magic. It's not, <laughs> movie magic. All right. I always forget they get plus one when they jump. Um, so I think it's a seven after it's all said and done. Yeah. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, seven. Yep, that's what I got. You get a, one. Yeah, one. Okay, so that is internal, Kev. Uh, is that Wolverine is stripped, so you will get an internal critical hit here. Could be juicy. Seven. Seven. That is a motive hit, I believe. All right, Marauder, selling out. He's turning. Firing on that Zeus, overheating. He's gonna go for four points of damage, and then I believe he needs sixes. Oh, going for the Zeus, right? Yes. All right, here we go. I don't like it. All right, that is three points of damage, which may be enough to cause some serious hurt. Well, it's definitely a critical hit, so you can roll up a critical hit for sure, as we are in time. Critical hit, ejecting. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Eureka. <laughs> Eureka. Now, is that ammunition? Killed. Outright. So we're wrapping up turn seven. It's ugly. Uh, both commanders down. Uh, although the Stalker's Atrium Knights, down. Stalker's down. Zeus is down. Orion and Force withdrawal. Kaboom. <laughs> Guys, turn eight, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Coming up next. Turn seven damage report on the side of the Capellan Confederation. That stalker, mighty Poding himself, is forced to eject after the Zeus and the Wolverine tear into that assault mech, just crushing the CT. Uh, the Marauder also takes a through armor critical from the retreating Orion. Uh, that mech is stripped of armor, but now facing a fire control hit as well. In the vehicle lance, the eighth Capellan chargers, one of those vedettes, just Face down by that vicious catapult, takes a point-blank arrow four and some medium lasers, that vehicle down to one structure and in withdrawal. On the side of the Atrian Knights, that Zeus is just blown to pieces by combined fire, but mostly from that stalker, Poding and Falcon going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The Orion still in withdrawal, that Wolverine completely stripped, now looking at a motive hit as well, and that catapult out of armor, but still very much in control of that flank. Here it is, the end of the battle. So we talked about it, we moved, it just wasn't looking good. The Capella Confederation deciding to pull back, the mobile command units calling for the withdrawal. Uh, of course, they're scooping up the ejection pod of, of <laughs> <laughs> Podang. <laughs> po Luckily, he's got two more stalkers in the hangar. <laughs> at least, at least. Uh, the Atrian Knights victorious this time. Uh, but not without casualty, that Orion just badly damaged in withdrawal. The Zeus knocked out a commission, just a vicious shot, destroying that chassis. Uh, hopefully the pilot survived. I think he did. Let's say yes. Uh, <laughs> and that catapult, just what an interesting, interesting result there. We'll talk about that mm. in the after action report, I guys. Use a different word than interesting. <laughs> uh, well, the After Action Report is coming right up next, so stay tuned for that. Don't go away. All right, so guys, 250 PV uh, in the books for eternity. Uh, the Atrian Knights managed to uh, eke another victory out here against their Capellan nemesis, Warrior House Poding and the Eighth Capellan Chargers. So I don't think I've beat you in like four months now. It's been a while. You beat Tom last week. <laughs> you, I say. Oh, me? Yes. Uh, I I don't know. This one was uh, was was interesting. Uh, so the artillery was way more effective than I oh could have ever possibly imagined. In fact, going into this match, I was saying to myself, like, man, 
I should have probably just picked like a C1 or a K2 and just gone with the, the big damage. But holy smokes, when you have the spotters, right? I mean, it's effective, right? Now, Gray yeah. and I was nailing eights, but still. Uh, it was, it's, it's actually the perfect situation for artillery because you got the I was condensing on an objective, so yeah. it was hard for me to break up my units so that you couldn't target like more right. than one. But you were also, I mean, honestly, you were just getting really good rolls because you nailed both of those hovercraft on nines. You needed nines. Nines. It was like, bam, bam, and they were done. And they were just out. And yeah. that, that just basically, you know, they were my jet cappers. And then if I could waste time attacking your hovercraft, I would have just, right. you know. It's a true story. I it's hate true it. Story. I hate you. I love it. Uh, <laughs> and I will tell you, I went trolling uh, in, <laughs> in the rule book. Uh, to troll me. Because I watched you and Tom play. And, you know, um, what did you bring last week? You had Gabriels last week, right? Yeah, I had the Gabriels. And Tom had, oh, he had the Cavalries, um, the Choppers. Yeah. And they were so hard to hit. Uh -huh. And I was like, there has to be some way to hit these things, like, easily, right? Uh, and it turns out that artillery is the thing. You know, you ignore the, the movement mod. Now, granted, you end up paying almost just as much because there's that flat four... You ignore range, but there's that flat four. But at the same time, I think you actually, I think you do make out better by a couple points. Yeah. And again, that probability curve, the difference between a 10 and an eight is astronomical. Um, so really paid off, was really happy with that. Um, I like the Lance that I put together. I think the Wolverine did really good as always, got in there quick. The jump jets were super useful. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was afraid you had a lot of big armor. I was very afraid. Yeah. Um, My mechs. Should have crushed your lance. Should have. But, on paper. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but that artillery rained. That artillery rained, but also the key turn was when you missed... Um, yeah, a lot of, the, I had a lot of bad piloting rolls. There was a, I don't remember what turn it was, maybe four, maybe five. And uh, we, were, we were in there, and you just missed so many shots. Uh, and it was, that was the turning point, because then... That was the turn I really wrecked, the, the first yeah. turn I really wrecked the cataphract. But then I overheated, and I learned that overheating, I actually, it paid off. I, it's I, good. I, never, I, I never had an overheat that didn't pay off. It's good. I I don't have any, any units that overheated, and I sort of regretted it. Um, that Stalker, I think, landed all six. That's what basically toasted the, the Zeus. Orion. Yeah, the, yeah Zeus. the Zeus, so cooked it. Um, and the Orion, too. I don't know if you overheated on that one, but I don't think you did. But the Cataphract, I think he did. It was right before his demise. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, but I have but to say... still, they were, they were sort of it was good. death throws. Yeah. I liked the vedettes. They were kind of cool. Um, they were, but, you know, chasing the catapult around, like, <clears> was <throat> it worth it? I mean, what else could I do? Yeah, right. I mean, you I needed something more speedy that could have just got in there and harassed them from behind, whatever, uh, like maybe like the hover, hover or whatever, but, yeah. you know, they could have been useful controlling the objective, because then I could still be in this. If they were in the middle right now... With the, with the three arm or, three you know, structure. You yeah. might have been even, or you might have been only up by one point, and I maybe, we were saying, I, I might have been able to, to go to the bitter to end with back you. In. Yeah, well, absolutely. But by or, the time they came back in, you would have been up maybe a point or two more, and I, it, it would have just been out of control. And it was unlucky, because the Orion was withdrawing, like, right in their path. You know, so I still could, could get those shots off with the Orion, even though it was only two points of damage. It's still substantial enough. Um... So, yeah, but overall, it was a good game. I mean, uh, you know, I feel like um, the, the terrain was pretty balanced. It was pretty good. We got to the center basically at the same time, but then it just really came down to, um, you know, just the sort of the tactics of it. You know, we had that. List building. I'm Lit. bringing artillery, helicopters, and hovercraft next match. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just no, no mechs. mechs. <laughs> uh, I, do, I do really like this game, though. I have to tell you, I've been enjoying it. Um, I think... I was telling Kevin, uh, the formations are where it's at. I mean, I just want to run four LRM carriers and a fire lance and not have to have a spotter to indirect fire. I really look forward to that in the near future. That's why, I, that's when I'm going to go back to classic. When you get the, 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 the assault lance or battle lance, six re-rolls or something stupid. We're going to have to house roll something around that. I mean, six re-rolls is absurd, right? One re-roll is absurd. I agree with you. I mean, I, I mean, it's it's when game, we played it's game we played changing. campaign and edge. We were using that reroll mechanic. Oh, in Mech Warrior Two, the role playing game, and it would just totally turn. The it tide. would totally turn. Yeah, yeah. You could really flip one of those bad yeah. rolls. Yeah, you should be able to like uh, counter. I should be able to like use one of my rerolls, and you can like counter my reroll with one of your rerolls, and then like a rock paper scissor game. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh well.
But uh, it was fun. I had a good time. For uh, someone. For one of us. Yeah, I don't know. No, I had a good time. You, you, you killed lots of my guys. Yeah. I mean, well, one of my guys. But you roughed up most of my guys. It makes me walk away with a little, a little, a little, a little pride. Right, a little pride. Um, but but uh, Po Ding, me... he's, he's salty because he, uh, he had to watch that last kill from... 50,000 <laughs> parachute. <laughs> it's like, God damn you. <laughs> I love it. Well, on that note, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. But listen, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, give us a like, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought. Always open to suggestions and ideas. Uh, check us out on Instagram at DFA Wargaming. Uh, our website, DFAWargaming.com and also Battleytics.com. And our Facebook site coming soon. Tom, I'm looking at you, buddy. Make sure you get that done. <laughs> uh, that said, guys, thanks again. Have a great night. We'll catch you soon.